Do you water my friends? We're going to take a look at some strikes to soft targets. So, in Bruce Lee's philosophy of Do you water my friends? He teaches from Wing Chun and Jeet Kune Do, the Bilji. That's originally done as a finger strike, but growing up surfing and body surfing and playing water polo, I always did it more like a swimmer. So the original is like this to the eyes, but no matter how much weight someone lifts, the front of their throat never gets any thicker. You can go just under the Adam's apple here so it's non-lethal, and there's a soft spot, and you go in and down like your water, like your surfing and swimming or your hand is cupped like as if you were swimming or paddling and you're going to go in and down as if you were a rock climber finding a little crevice to work with all right now there's another aspect of the physics here where when we do this we create a bit of a puppet master effect so when i do that his hands come to his throat our next soft target is the groin and his hands will go down and so you can create this sort of puppet master effect now, I like this as an initial, mainly because if you're going to be using this for defense against a much larger person, the natural physics of this is the person will bend forward, all right? So if someone small is the defender, right, and if she strikes me here, here comes 230 pounds, I'm going to fall forward. That's not what she wants. She wants to create a puppet master effect. If instead she strikes me here first, my hands will come up to protect me. I'm like, ah, now this is free and open, and she can do it from offline so that she won't be in harm's way when my body naturally reacts to the physics and the gravity that she's creating. So if we take a look at this strike, we want to generate this from a natural position. So in real life, you're not going to be like totally ready. So I want to be like talking with my hands, and, oh, gee, that's really interesting. And then from here, bam, I can go. When we're going to do this on the way to the target, like coins in a sock, I'm going to have my fingers come together. And then as they do so, they're gonna go in and down, all right? So that way it's not just the soft target, but you're actually going to the inside of the clavicle and like as if we're rock climbing, there's leverage on it. All right? And then if we want to create this kind of marionette puppet master effect, then bang, he goes here, bang, he goes here, and then now it's party time, whatever else you want to do. All right? Now to train this, you don't want to just do this in the air. And the opposite, you don't want to necessarily nail everyone's neck and have everyone not want to train with you. So we do use focus mitts, but it's better if you can find some that are a little bit on the soft side so that you can really actually strike with some power, all right? So the acronym I use is TAPS, Technique, Accuracy, Power, Speed. So first, Josh is gonna take a neutral, natural position like he's talking to me, and then when I present him the target, he strikes, all right? Now in the beginning, he's looking for technique. He can do it nice and slow, his fingers come together as he strikes the target, right? Then he's looking for accuracy. Can he hit the center of the spot? Bam. Then he's looking for power. He wants to hit hard. Bam, right? Bam, right? And then he's looking for speed. Puts it all together. Technique, accuracy, power, and speed. Cowabunga. So, one little detail, I, I want to protect myself as well. So I want my body to be bladed. So when I launch, my whole body is going to blade to the target. My other hand doesn't just do nothing. As I hit, I want my other hand protecting my throat and my body's bladed. So this way, kind of like a fencer trying to get a perfectly accurate shot, bam! And hold that thought, I'm going to show you something. So to help you with that analogy, if the tips of my fingers were the tips of the spear, right, the tips of the sword, if I'm here, I can go to the target this way and my body, the biomechanics, are supporting the shot. So if we mirror this, right, and we mirror this with our technique, then from here, I'm going technical, accurate, power, 
and the speed. And you put it all together, I could be this far away just talking to you. Bam! Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since we're in Hawaii, let's use some examples from the ocean. So back old school, right? Wing Chun, you could know. They think of this as like a snake. I like to think of it like a moray eel because after I find the little cave, I can bite. Mm. All right? So we can also do this with the octopus. So after I hit, I grab and squeeze. So I don't just hit. I Whoa. hit, grab, and squeeze. <laughs> All right? So octopi are pretty smart. So we've got our moray eel. When he comes, he enters and he bites. We've got our angry octopus that hits and boom. Okay? You get the pale punny punny action going and crunch the alas. <laughs> <laughs>